Good morning everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I hope you guys are doing well. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link below in the video description as I come to you from a beautiful backdrop here in Florida. But guys, I have some very special news, something I'm very excited to show you. I ran into my old van, Vanna White, the Coachman van, and Vanna White's new owner, Deborah. We're gonna talk to her in just a minute, see how she's liking the van, see how things are going, the things she's changed, and just kind of reunite back with Vanna White. Thanks for joining me, guys. Let's get right to it. Hi guys, Eric here coming to you from a beautiful park here. This is a special day for me. As a nomad who's gone through my share of RVs and vehicles, I've been in uh, four different uh, E150 cargo vans, uh, and, and then I've sold those and moved on. It's very rare that we get to run into our old vehicles on the road. So this is an extra special time for me, and I'm really excited because I, I connected back up with Deborah to see how she's been enjoying Vanna White and using Vanna White and customizing Vanna White to her needs so we're gonna talk to her get to meet her right now and go check out my old coachman camper van Vanna White all right here we go Deborah has offered to be on camera here how are you hun <laughs> great love the, my Vanna White the van looks great you've had it for about how long uh, it's it's a uh, year in September Awesome. So last September so and what do you think is it yours I love it. yeah you keeping I love it? it yeah you're not gonna sell it back to me <laughs> It'll cost you a lot more. <laughs> well, why don't you show me and tell me what you've done, okay. anything on the outside that you've changed? Okay, on the outside, um, not much has changed. I did get the um, speaker like uh, Eric had. Yeah. I had to order it from Australia. Oh, weird. <laughs> yeah, I had to order it. And um, I don't have to go in here anymore because we rerouted the electricity to the inside, so I don't have to hook up, you know, do that switch. So what are you using for power now? Um, right now I'm using the Jackery. Okay. Uh, just when I travel to and from and then I hook up to um, shore power because I mostly stay in state parks or run the generator if you yeah. absolutely have to yeah. um, all we've done here is just clean things up a little bit mm -hmm. um, cause I see the cameras have a much nicer look to them yeah they, Eric, is, <laughs> Eric is really good on picking good equipment but he's a little I, iffy on the I don't finish all my projects <laughs> well, yeah. okay so here we go we're going inside I have tried to uh, de-turquoise it as much as possible, um, so I've kind of switched to like navy and, and different blues, but um, that chair too, where, where Eric's sitting right now, is, is always turned around that way for my dog. I see, so we have the turquoise and then it starts to get a little lighter here on the couch and then it goes to a normal blue right there, I like that. Yeah, and I have my, my, I hide my weighted blanket too, so. Oh, okay. You got, you got good taste in uh, YouTube up there. You're watching my... Yes, uh, yeah. It's, <laughs> and in here, all I did was just added a little light. Oh, nice. And same thing in here. I couldn't, I couldn't see the uh, inside of the refrigerator, so I just added a light here. Oh, that's a smart idea. My light doesn't work in my RV. I might have to add one of those. Yeah, the, there's, there are four of them. You get four of them in the pack. Okay. Um, nothing new with the speaker here. Just These are new? No. These outlets? Yes. Oh, yes. I got USB outlets here, here, and here. Okay. And, um... Oh, you got my old mug. Got a cup of coffee. And you got the t-shirt on too. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> and then when you come back here, um, I just have everything I need, you know, post-it notes, paper clips, all that kind of little, just little stuff, you know? Um, back here, one of my favorite things, if you can see it, I don't yep. know if you can see it, is my freezer. I like that. And the freezer, I, I take giant king cubes, so I have for my cocktail or my ice water, ice cream, um, frozen stuff like And that stays right there while you're driving? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Or I can put it on the on the floor. I think that's matter. where I had the old litter box, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you've repurposed of, it. That's that's full of um, everything for the outdoor blackstone. Gotcha. For, for okay. the griddle. Okay. Um, hung some uh, stuff up here. Yep. Um, this the tub is just a junk drawer. That's my giant junk drawer. 
and exactly. you can do whatever you want with this room. And the but other than that, out, there's also a bed. And, You've and also got one of my old uh, car rooms. car magnets that I use, signed by Nomadic yes, Fanatics. Yes, yes, yes. Couple years ago, um, we, I did upgrade the TV. I like it. And, it, it and it's bigger. Yeah, it's, it's, a it's bit not too big though. Yeah. I, I think it's the right size. Um, I've only bumped my head on it an average of oh. four or five <laughs> times <laughs> per trip. Okay, and the other monitor right there—that's for the security camera system. Yeah. Yeah. So Deborah has the the same system as I have, which they just used for trying to locate the people who took my e-bike. <laughs> yeah, this was the this was the television that was up there. Oh, okay. And now it's in the back and nice and secure. Great. But, and there's Tater Tot out yep, there. So I can see her all around. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just love it. You know? It, it fits you. It's this is a perfect fit for your little, little getaways. It's, it's and perfect. Yeah. And yeah. it fits in my driveway, mm -hmm. um, which is really great. Um, I have a couple bricks in the driveway to keep keep me from going too far because otherwise I take out the air conditioner. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so this van is a, a specific good size it's fit. It's perfect. Okay. It's perfect. Um, you know, I, and I love the fact that I'm doing little stuff. Mm -hmm. Everything's little. Like, oh. look at this. Even my, my ketchup and mustard. Oh, you know? neat. That's very little, cool. You know? You got to maximize all the space, yeah, right? I, you know, just... I love it. I'm just going to flip around here and show the, the bed, couch there area. Oh, my little table too. And then these, yeah, these, so there's the coachman turquoise color there up front. Here's the seat she leaves like this. And then a little uh, end table there for driving and for parking. Yeah, it's perfect for like when I'm watching TV at night and having a cocktail or something. I yeah. just, just sit there and... I also just want to point out, you know, this overhead storage area, yeah. you almost don't get these with the newer camper vans. They close that off. Well, you know, you know? and... and I didn't realize when you, because you left me those bins. Uh -huh. I didn't realize how handy they would be because oh, yeah. I, I just have an awful lot of stuff that I, you know, just in case, just in case, just in case, you know, that kind of thing. And that way you don't have to look at it. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't really, you know, I was going to clean it all up, um, but I didn't. Yeah. No, it's good. This is, this is this is the living condition here. This is the way, this is real life. Oh, you got a new faucet here too, I just noticed. Oh, yeah, that's right. I like that one. Yeah, I, I absolutely love having a decent faucet and I I really, really hated those little yeah. nasty ones. It's hard so to that get was the one of the first things I did. And my brother-in-law has been extremely helpful. He did all the wiring. He put all the um, all the wires that were showing. He took all of this off. And, and hid the wires behind everything. Wow. He's, yeah. I need to come talk to him next time. I <laughs> yeah, because he's kind of, he's crazy about wires and having things straight and everything the way I am. So mm -hmm. that was really a good thing to do. But, um, oh, and when I, when I bought this, I, I bought it in, in um, Illinois. Mm -hmm. And it t I took five days to get home. Okay. And the very first day, it's pouring down rain. Oh. And one of the windshield wipers breaks. So... Now, I haven't driven a van since the 70s, mm -hmm. and I'm driving down the freeway with one, one, oh my gosh. So the first thing I did is I called my brother-in-law, what do I do, what do I do? He said, find a, a you know, a, 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 a auto zone or something, yeah, yeah, and I did, yeah, yeah, I just drove in and the guy fixed it for me, but it was, it was like, oh, more can happen. Funny that you were greeted by rain as soon as you leave Illinois. Yeah. You, you, you did that to me. Yeah, probably. You, did, you sent me on my way with. Pouring down. I christened rain. you. Yeah. So. But I'm, I'm glad you got a chance to see what Van is doing now. Thank you. Thank you for showing us. This means a lot to me. It's it's a it's an emotional experience being back, and I'm really glad to see you happy in it. So thank you for making this happen. Nice to meet you, Deborah. Yep. I do kind of miss that van. Just so you know, it's just. I didn't like the idea of storing the van and not using the van while I'm out in the big RV at the time. That was my thinking. Uh, had things been different? Yeah, now I basically traded this van for Black Betty, which also sits in a shed unused. And I'm like, really, Eric? So anyway, we are here in the uh, Zephyr Hills area. So um, Deborah and I are gonna go out and grab a bite to eat. Well, it's so nice, sunny, warm, beautiful. Uh, we're gonna go grab a bite to eat here at uh, village in here in uh, Zephyr Hills and go try some stuff. I just noticed also on the back window. Look at this. She's still got my old Mickey decals with me and the two kitties. Yeah, that was uh, Jax and Tara when we had this van there. Aww. Ooh, look at this, guys. I got turkey and taters for lunch and a biscuit. And Deborah got a, a chicken pot pie there. All right, eat them up. All right, uh, just picked up something. Um, 
something I did not share with you last week is that, and this is gonna be a real shocker, I had another blowout in tater tot. Make that number six. Yes, guys, so the last week I haven't even had a spare. That wheel was bad. So, just picked up a brand new wheel rim on Amazon. Also, a brand new tire. Uh, this is a front rim, front tire. But in a pinch, it'll work on the back if I have another flat. But I was really worried that I might have a flat last week again. Um, I don't know what the, what the real issue is, guys. It's just... I feel like I just gotta make it to like the end of March, April when we do the lift kit and put normal tires on here. But in the meantime, probably not a good idea to not have a spare with me considering my track record. Six flat tires. So we're gonna go take this over to the uh, tire shop, drop it off, let them mount and balance it, put a valve on it, and uh, then we'll have a spare again. <laughs> So before I got to the tire shop here, I just took a call here in the car with my Calm Service Bluetooth there, and it was another detective from a different precinct here in Florida. Same county, but a different investigation going on, and she shared a lot more information about the e-bike theft ring going on that has now leaked past her jurisdiction into this one. So she actually stopped by my RV here earlier, left a card, wanted to get a little bit of information. Look. I don't want to jump the gun or anything, guys, but um, she says they're really close. Apparently, they are uh, they are zoning in on a place and getting ready to serve a warrant uh, where they think that they are going to find dozens of stolen e-bikes just sitting in somewhere. And uh, I've probably already said too much. So she didn't say that I couldn't say this on my YouTube channel. But anyway, um, it looks like they are... I've never seen anybody go after bike thieves this hard, but uh, Pasco County Sheriff's are not messing around. They do not want this kind of crime to happen and they don't want to make people feel uncomfortable. So I think that's good. They're at the office right now collecting a little bit more video surveillance from the office because they have some stuff around the pool and other places. So, and if somebody who works there is working with the sheriff's office on another, they're using my video to, um, to the Vans shoes that he was wearing and the Swiss black backpack that he was wearing that you could only see in my video, that's gonna be key evidence when they do the search. It's so exciting, you know? I don't know, I'm probably getting too excited too quickly here, but there may be an update on my e-bike soon. We'll see. All right, now I feel better. Got a brand new, loaded, balanced, spare, ready to go. I mean, brand spanking new. And again, even though I'm gonna do the lift, I'll have no trouble getting rid of all five of these tires when I need to, after I upgrade. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out, guys. I'm gonna take a shower real quick. Got a friend coming by. We're gonna, we're gonna go do some things. Got some uh, interesting updates coming on the channel. You guys stay tuned. Be well. Bye, guys.